Hello everyone, my name is Paul Samayoi, and we're back. Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 372 Archin. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? And this episode's topic, there is no topic. So, if you like a Rex, Rex, Bluff, you have a, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you would like to recommend me one, as long as it's not too sexual or too inappropriate, both the topic and your name, uh, then I'll most likely be using it whenever I, uh, after I see it in the next, you know, episode that I will record that I'll want to use the topic in. So, yeah. So just, you know, either comment or message me or, you know, do something that, you know, I'll be able to see it. Um, and then, yeah, I probably will use it. And make sure to credit you in the description and in the video. So, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> that was probably one of my worst starts, like, ever. It's because I'm freaking sick, that has to be it. Oh man. Well anyway, I'm gonna be silent for now until I think of something to talk about. Oh, I have a good description how my throat is feeling. So, imagine if you ate, let's see, have you ever had one of those moon pies? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's pretty much like, usually it would be too, it'd be like looking like a mini chocolate circle sandwich, like a really tiny chocolate treat. And it has marshmallow in the middle, and then for like the sandwich part, it's like chocolate, uh, light chocolate, like like, um, kind of graham cracker light, but not, you know, crunchy, just like, just like kind of soggy graham cracker, like that feeling, but not, not, not like the wet taste. But pretty much what I'm talking about is there is like this cherry version to where instead of the marshmallow in the middle, it would have, um, cherry taste. So that's pretty much what my throat is feeling like right now. Uh, even though those taste like medicine, they absolutely taste great. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just give a decent description of how my throat is feeling. And then the whole uh, fuzzy head feeling is like, imagine if you wake up with like a headache after you have like went to sleep and you knew you were sick and all that. That's pretty much how I'm feeling right now in my head, so I'm just really surprised that I was able to pull off recording at least three episodes. I still got this episode to finish, and I got a stream later today. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully all will go well. Hopefully. But anyway, I'm going to go back and stop to being silent so I can think of something else to talk about.
<laughs> but really, uh, I forgot to also say, I'm really hoping that I actually find a live shiny when I'm hunting in my stream, say, in the friend safari. I am going to be hunting in that ghost one that I, yeah, that I have, that's in the recent Nice Guy Shiny Hunter episodes. Um, I'm going to be hunting in that one, because I'm pretty sure I, that one is still my friend. I have his friend, if not, then I'll move on to whatever the next one is, but... Yeah, I'm really hoping I get lucky and actually get a shiny, because that would be freaking amazing to get a shiny during a stream. Like, my luck in the first two streams has been freaking amazing, so I'm feeling like I'm going to get... I'm most definitely going to get a shiny. <laughs> and, um... If it is going to be, uh in that friend safari, I don't have to worry about pretty much them, like, you know, killing themselves with their moves, because I can just have artillery out in front, and pretty much the only threat is the phantom, but if it has curse, I can just use soak, and then they can't do damage to itself, because curse changes depending on if you're a ghost type or any other type, um, so yeah, so I'll be pretty much good for that, I don't have to look up anything during that, but, and hopefully I do get some new viewers as well, that would be cool. Cause I don't like automatically naming the stream after a certain game because I don't want to just be that for a little while and then me switching off to another one because someone else recommended something. So I just always like to start it off with the creative category because that can mean like a lot of other stuff. It can mean like really anything so I'm just going to let it be like that until after I finish the stream and then I can specifically add in what I did in the stream. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go back to being silent for now. I'm feeling, feeling like how I feel after you eat ramen noodle in a cup, those cup foam, foam cup ones, after you eat it while it's like really hot still, and then the steam goes up your nose and everything, and your nose feels like it's dripping. My nose isn't dripping right now, but it feels like it's going to start, so, yeah, I know I don't really need to be telling you all this, but want to give you a perspective how it's feeling like for me right now so it's just relatable if you've ever ate, ate one of those they're pretty good while they're hot but like I said they're painful as well while you eat them hot <laughs> personally I really like the the ramen when it's kind of like kind of stretchy still not like super completely soft um not exactly hard either like it's kind of solid imagine like if you ever chewed a rubber band that's kind of how I like my ramen in those my ramen to taste not too soft not too hard but just you know like that where it kind of tastes like uh, you group it up in your mouth it like really feels like something solid uh, that's just how I like it though. And I of course would occasionally eat the Just It Hard whenever I'm looking for just a, a raw snack. <laughs> I haven't done that in like a year or something like that. Where you just straight up take it out of the cup. Or if it's just in the little packets. that you just chew on it and just chomp on it. It's like especially the craziest when it's in the... <laughs> when it's in the, the cup form. Because... <laughs> Because you literally just take it out or you just break the cup around it and it's in like a cup shape the ramen so you're just chewing on it like it's like it's an ice cube or something <laughs> oh my gosh man that's the greatest 
Oh man. Holy crap. Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to being silent for now. So if I can think of anything else I want to talk about. Yeah, my throat's feeling pretty hot. Oh man. Today's gonna be quite the day, or however long this freaking sickness lasts. Oh man. It's gonna suck. Cause it's pretty much like if you accidentally swallowed throw up after throwing up a little bit in your mouth, like a tiny bit. It's kind of like that kind of heat sourness. It's a weird one, I don't know. I might throw up, because <laughs> I haven't thrown up in years, like, for real. The only times that I only, like, kind of throw up, when if it's, like, a little bit in my mouth. That's only, like, very rare times, though. But I haven't, like, thrown up in, like, probably ten years, I would say. I <laughs> just, somehow, I haven't, I've always been able to constrain myself from doing that. From, like, having to throw up. I don't know, just something amazing, I guess, because if you ever have thrown up, oh man, what a time that is, freaking horrible time, kind of a nice feeling as well, but it's just like your head gets all, you know, overwhelmed, and it's like lightheaded because, you know, you're throwing up and you can't really breathe, and it's pretty crazy. You hear some funny commentary from me while I'm sick, cause I, I don't know. It feels like all weird. It feels really weird. All right, should be able to check. Two more. Should be able to get two more. And uh, maybe one of those is Brussels Ops. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I don't get to take that often, so maybe, maybe this is a sign. Maybe I'm going to get a shiny today. Hoping at least during the stream. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know why I went like me. I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing... Doing one more. Doing it. I don't care if it's gonna go over the time limit. It's happening right now. Brussels Ops, have you been summoned? Have you come to arrive? Nope. Well, anyway. If you enjoyed the episode, if you'd be so kind to support me by donating to my Patreon, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course, then feel free to. The link is in the description down below, and I'll be seeing y'all later. I've been your host, Palm Samayoi, and goodbye.